Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is Connie. I've had some requests to do some paper piecing, <clears throat> excuse me, for some of the cadoodle book design pieces I had done. So I'm going to put a couple together, one, two, night, and then I'll come back and do another one. Kind of, at, kind of lost my mojo. I'm waiting for things to come in and just been a long process. So I am... Let me grab. I can find it. Um, of course, no, I don't have this one. I'm going to kind of go with uh, another duck I have. This is the duck peeker um, with the rain boots. I'm going to kind of go from. You can see it here, my easel card with my duck. And I'll set it up. It'll give me an idea. I don't have my computer on, so I'm going to kind of go from memory. So bear with me. <clears throat> I'm just going to jump in here. I'm going to get some of my pieces separated. thought I'd had this done, and I didn't. I'm sorry. So I'm going to start with the back piece, the water. That always goes on first and you kind of have to watch I do use the shadow on these pieces the blackout however you want to call it just makes it easier and this piece is actually cut bigger it's two, three, four, about four and a half or so tall and then it ends up being about five and a quarter five and an eighth wide um, I probably will list a couple of these in my eBay store. If you are interested in any of the paper pieces I have, please leave a message either here or um, you can message me on Facebook. I'll try to remember to link, leave a link to the eBay where I put list them there. Um, I'm not sure how long I'll be keeping that open. I probably will just advertise my pieces on my Facebook page, but I do sell my paper pieces and things that I make. I just have not, I don't know, just can't get with the program what I want to make. And got to get out of that streak. Okay, so putting my piece water down first. Normally I do have the uh, photo of the finished image in front of me. This time I do not, so go from there, figure out what we're doing. I do ink all my edges if you are new to my channel. That I that I do do. Okay, next pieces I'm gonna put on are the little hooks of the rain boots. I use different kinds of glue. My favorites are um, Art glitter glue and beacon three in one. It depends upon the size and what I'm doing for the paper piece. If it's larger and I need to make sure I have wiggle room, wiggle time, I use the beacon because this art glitter glue is great, but it dries super, super fast. So just kind of give you a heads up on that. And I have my reverse tweezers by UK Success that yeah, don't look, it needs to be cleaned, I realize. I feel like I'm missing some pieces, but I guess not. We've got the head. What I often do is um, lay my pieces out first so I kind of know how they're going. These two pieces for the boots really threw me off. I don't know why I was fine on the little one. But the bigger it is, sometimes the harder it is. So I played around with this last night after I cut it, and I actually labeled it left and right. I just, like I said, I really struggled. I put the head aside. So what I figured out finally is, so obviously the piece that goes up higher is going to go in the center. Okay, I'm going to show you this. The first rounded part is going to go right down here. Make sure I'm in frame here. Okay, 
And I got a mess on my desk, so please ignore that. Same with this. This top curve is going to go with this curve right here. And it will, and then the bottom piece will just start here. So it does work. Okay, now when you put the head on, I'm going to hold these a moment. Put the head on. Doesn't look like it's covered in here, right? But. You have the little wings and it does cover it up and then um, did I get this off I'm just gonna lay this out so you can kind of see it it all does go together trust me I know I had it all you have to get that wing in there and then Excuse my reach. When we put the mouth on, the mouth comes down. So it all will work. So the next piece I'm putting on there is my boots. And again, since they're bigger, I'm going to use my beacon. I didn't like all of the yellow. Uh, in the design initially, so that's why I changed up my colors to pink. You could use any color you wanted. I just, it was too much yellow for me. I like yellow, but just wanted to do something different. So, and then what I do is just come over, kind of make sure it's even on the sides. And then you have these half circle pieces. They're just going to come right like this and put them over just a little. Yeah, if you overlap them, you kind of get rid of that space in the middle. And see, I didn't have all of this when I was doing the, the little size because honestly, you don't you miss all of that you don't see any of that because it's you're working with such a small piece that it all just fits together but the larger you get the size the more you have to sometimes work to get it all to come together so i actually like working with the uh, smaller sizes anymore I never used to. When I started out, I didn't resize anything. So I had these huge pieces. But before I do this one, I, I'm going to take this off. That's another reason I like my beacon. I forgot to put um, my strips on the bottom of the, the bottom of the boot. So let's do that. Kind of center it. If you're new to paper piecing or not comfortable with the design to start with, my suggestion is honestly, um, lay it on there before you glue it out. And then you can go back and figure out where you want to put everything. Oh, and then I still put this one down and I didn't want to yet. I am... This is why I haven't been paper piecing. I'm just got a lot on my mind and I got a lot going on and I'm just not my best right now. Let's try this again. Make sure on this side you don't go over the edge of the piece though. Okay, now let's put this on. Good grief. Always on camera it happens. This almost looks like he's got one foot in front of the other, which is really cute, like he's marching or something. Okay, now get that out of the way. Put the head on. Let's get this thing put together, right?
please excuse oh my fingers I didn't realize I have been I have been paper piecing today inking and I can't get any projects finished because I don't like I said I'm waiting for stuff to come in and one project I'm working on a little fall mini album but it's uh it's taken a while wow okay I'm just gonna lay these on here these do follow the sides over here. I don't know if you can tell that. They do follow the sides, though. Let me put this mouth together so I don't have to keep trying to hold it. And I'll show you what I'm doing here in a minute. Okay, so you have whoa, this piece with the curve at the top and this piece. They just go one on top of the other and they match. So the top curve and these curves all match together. If you didn't ink it, you won't get near the dimension. Just going to give you a heads up on that. And see, it all works good. So, I don't trust myself with the hard glitter glue today. I'm going to go back to my beacon. But yeah, if you can see, it's got, it'll follow the curve there. <laughs> Stab myself. I just think this is a cute little piece. I loved the cards. I'm, I'm going back to making some more of my small little cards. They were a lot of fun. Make some for Christmas and whatnot. I'm not going to put the nose, the mouth on yet. I want to put the eyes together next. So you have your two eye pieces. You have little notches in here. I don't know if you can see those, just a little tiny indention to go to the middle. Took me a long time to figure that out. I put my eyes up. I leave just a little bit of a white at the top. These eyes are not perfectly round, if you are not aware of that, the blue part. They have a little bit of a, just a smidgen of an oval. And I try to keep them elongated this way. So, and then I just put the black up there. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm still in frame here. I gotta mark it better. Okay, then what I do is I come over here. Let's get the nose out of the way. Again, my eyes I don't put up very high. Don't know if there's a better way to do it, but that's just how I do it. And I put them at a little bit of an angle. I, the whites don't go straight. Before I put them down, I make sure they're where I want them with the nose or the muzzle, the beak, whatever it is. And then I kind of try to hold that and leave that lay there. And then it's easier for me to place it when I put it back in to kind of have an idea where I want it. My eyes, I put fairly close together so I have room for eyelashes and stuff on this side. get this one out of the way I can kind of go from this eye where I want it okay so I don't lose my blue pieces for my water these are separate normally I don't always cut the um, good grief I'm not really I'm having problems with it. I don't always cut that white background piece but I did just because if I do sell it it's just a little sturdier. Um, if these were supposed to be attached anywhere here, they would be part of this whole piece. So just to give you a heads up there, I think it kind of goes like this. 
That just is so ugly without the face done. Just my opinion, but some too fussy. And then I think it's like this. If you can see that yet, yeah, it'll be just a moment. Well, must be like this. I don't, like I said, I don't have the pattern right in front of me in the card I was, I gave away. So, um, not exactly sure. I think it's kind of personal preference too. Got to get a little bit of glue up. I use way too much glue there. Have glue everywhere. Now, if you wanted, you could put glossy accents on the water. That's really pretty. Um, you could put some glitter on it, some stickles or glitter pen, or I like to use. Um, what is it called? The Spectrum Noir Sparkle. I like that stuff too, that you just shake it up and paint it on with the paintbrush. But I'm going to put my caps on my glue a minute and I will show you what I do with the cheeks and the eyes. If you will. Come on, there. I literally have everything at my fingertips and can't find anything because it's not in my normal spot. And oh, what a mess. Oh, good grief. Okay. I am using this dark top one. This is Pebbles Chalk. It's got a little bit of glitter in it, and it's not near as dark as the other one I usually use. So, should have put this on before I put the. Um, hands on but I'll make it work. I've got an eraser that comes in I use all the time. I have got a lot of chalk on this pom pom and literally I'm, I'm really struggling to get anything on my cheeks here. Um, going back to find my other chalk one of these days. I like this chalk for other things, but not for inking on my paper pieces. So I'm going to come in and try not to wiggle the camera. Try about too much, but get this off. Well, piece stuck on there. Okay. This is the nice thing about chalk. Instead of ink, you can always take off whatever you want. Let's see if I can get... I'm going to do the whites of the eyes in a minute, but excuse my reach. Coming back to do the eyes first. Using my black pan pastels, I'm going to come in and try not to make a big mess the first time. off the excess chalk a little bit. On one of the ducks, I did yellow around the eyes and then I took a yellow 
a darker yellow um, colored pencil. Actually, it's on this duck easel card I showed you. That's another way when they're smaller to do the eyes and you don't put eyelashes or anything on then, but that's really fun. Just something different. I'm going to try to smooth that out a little bit and the rest I'll do with my eraser. Here's what I was going to do. I got some black on here, the black chalk I want to get rid of. I think we're good there. I come back and I only go to about where the eyelashes are going to stop. So, ugh. let's see. I Got some white or black on the white there. I learned that trick. I don't remember who it was from. I think it was some, um, oh gosh, I can't think of her name. Julia McNeil? I'm not sure. Um, she has an awesome channel. She does a lot of mixed media stuff and that. And I oh, just love to watch her. But I think it was on her channel that I saw that she just went over. With a white pen. My white pen doesn't work very well. Okay, again, I'm getting ahead of myself. Good grief. God, I can't concentrate tonight. I'm going to do my time for a new marker I hate starting new markers so because they're always so juicy so I scribble for a while or I take one I've used been using and then it's not near so inked up I'm using a jelly roll pen. I really like these versus the um, Signal, the Uniball. I just have found that the lighter touch, the better you are off. And I don't think I could draw a round circle for anything, I'm telling you. I'm going to do these a little bit different today. So you don't see it very much, even in real life, but um, I'm just putting the white in the blue part and leaving the uh, black with just the dots. I'm trying to get this straight and I can't get the circle straight. I've come back when I've had to fix it with the... Um, marker not a marker colored pencil works wonderful um, it, it's more true to color than most black markers and I can get it really fine tip if you are looking for a true or black colored or cut marker the uh, Tim Holtz distress ink their markers his marker the black one black soot is really good so And let that dry a moment. I don't think it's going to show on here much, but do a little bit of, yeah, it's not going to show just because white on pink doesn't show. So. Waiting for my gel pen to dry a little bit. 
Come in with my white pan pastels. And I just kind of take a little excess off wherever I have, either on my uh, hand or on a piece of paper, because I don't want a lot on there. Just got too much. I have to kind of really rub it in. And then I want to do a little bit on the eyes. And I might come in and highlight a little bit on here. My uh, water is a little bit lighter this time. The paper is lighter, so it doesn't need near as much highlighting. And then I can get this in right in the, up in here. Just kind of want to get it. And uh, I'm taking as much as this off if I can, as I can, because then I can get it really mixed in better and fix one eyebrow here because my eyes the black doesn't get isn't even so um. and again i just think yeah up here i got Black in there, so they kind of shadow I don't like. So that's a bigger version of the um, little duck, and I'm gonna show you. I'll put the uh, whoa little pieces here with it. Again, I'm not sure exactly which one goes where. I'm missing one already. In the world, I can do these things. Miss, lose, ah, there it is. So I can lose things. So I put everything in a bag because otherwise it's gone. But there you go. And if you have any questions, be sure and leave me a comment. I will be back with the uh, which one do I have next? I'm looking here. I'm sorry, I've got such a mess. I have the bear with the hat and then I have let me look here one more moment figure it out I believe I have the uh, yeah I have this one to do also but it's bigger it'll be this size compared to this card size so I do have them cut I just have to ink them and then get them ready so I want to thank you though for joining me have an awesome evening or day whichever you're watching take care